What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. I got a pretty cool product to show you guys today. This is Volway's mirror mounted dash cam. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right guys, so I got everything out of the box laid on the table here. This is everything that's going to come with this kit. You're going to get your mirror mounted dash camera, which I'll explain more about this in a minute. You're going to get a back camera provided with a whole lot of cord here. You're going to get your power adapter. You're going to plug this into your 12 volt power source and then you're going to plug this other end in which is a USB-C into this mirror. You're going to get some screws, some tape, two-sided tape. You're going to get some straps here. You're going to get a little plastic tool to tuck the wires and then you're going to get a nice little cloth here to be able to clean the mirror off. So I go ahead and give you guys a quick rundown of how this works. This mirror here is actually a 10 inch IPS touchscreen also. I'll power it on in a second here to show you guys how that works. But on the back here, you're going to get a front mounted dash camera. And this is adjustable and it can tilt up and down. This has a Sony lens in it. And the highest resolution you can record out of this is 4K. Also on the back here, you can see these are mounting straps here. You're going to use these included rubber mounting straps to wrap around this like so. And then you're going to mount this to your existing rear view mirror, which I'll show you that in a little bit here. So this is actually going to mount to the front of your current rear view mirror. It's not going to actually replace your mirror. It's just going to mount to the front of your mirror. On the top here, you got a spot for an SD card. You got a spot for the input of your rear view camera. And then right next to that is going to be the USB-C. And that's where you're going to put your power adapter into. On the bottom, you have one button here. And this one button is going to turn the product on and off. Also on the bottom here, it does have speakers and a microphone built in. So it does record not only video, it will record your audio inside the vehicle. All right guys, so to give you a better understanding of how this works, I got my tabletop power source plugged in here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this mirror and you'll see it's gonna turn on here. So there you go. There's a little car icon. And then right there is gonna be the screen I was telling you about. And what the screen is doing, it's showing you what this front camera, this camera right here, is recording. So as you guys can see, there's my hand there. And it's picking up the video from the camera. So pretty cool. Now you can use this either with the screen on or the screen off. So this does doubles as a rear view mirror or it's gonna display the screen of the front camera, or if you have your back camera hooked up, it's gonna display the back camera or both at the same time, so pretty cool. So for those of you that don't have a backup camera currently in your vehicle, this would be a nice little add-on to your vehicle, because not only is it recording, everything that's going on for the front of your vehicle and the back of your vehicle, it also can be utilized as a backup camera, so and everything can be viewed on the screen here. Really crystal clear display, I like it a lot. And also this is voice activated. You can use voice control with this, which is pretty cool. So I can say, turn off screen. And it just turned off the screen and now you can use it as just a regular rear view mirror. Turn on screen. Turn the screen back on. You can take pictures with this through the voice. You can stop and record um, with the voice. You can control front camera to view the front camera, view the back camera with the voice controls. So a lot of options with the voice controls. And then if you touch the screen here, there's a little icon in the corner. You can touch that and it gives you all the prompts for the voice control. So just in case you forget what the prompts are, you're always gonna have access to those right there to remember them. Also, at the bottom here, you can turn the voice controls off. So that's what this microphone's for. You can take a picture with this button. You can play your previous recorded videos on the screen also with the play button. 
you can lock videos and then you have a home button here and the home button is going to take you to a few other menus here you got dash cam menu you got your file explorer which is going to be all your recorded files you got your camera settings you can adjust and then you got system settings so like I said the highest resolution for this is 4k it also records in 1080p I'm gonna re be recording all my video off this camera in 1080p because that's what my computer is able to handle when I do all the editing so pretty nice setup here when you go to the home screen right in the corner there I don't know if you guys can see that there it is a little bit better picture you got your time you got your date the year what day it is you can all set this through the settings so pretty cool all right guys so here's a look at the screen during the daytime this is the front viewing camera here kind of hard to pick it up on my camera looks a lot better in person than what I'm seeing it through my viewfinder here in this camera but turn off screen okay. turn on screen okay. so that's just the front camera there but like I said looks a lot better in person than you guys are probably seeing it right now on this camera zombie response vehicle to the left oh yeah we got them we're well, just gonna do a little bit of driving here do some day driving and then I'll show you a little bit of night driving show rear camera okay and I can see everything behind me and it's recording it voice command works really 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 well very happy with that and I'm sure if you got your radio on I don't have the radio on or anything I'm sure if you got your radio on it might be a little bit more difficult for it to understand the prompts but as of right now I'm not having any issues with this understanding what I'm saying Guys, just to give you an idea of what the screen looks like at night, pitch dark out right now, and then you can see the screen right there. It did rain earlier, so the brightness is all the way up. Now the brightness is all the way down. Turn off screen, and now it's off turn on screen you can go switch it to the back show rear camera so that's what the back camera looks like I'm just parked in my driveway right now so that's the front of my truck I'm gonna go ahead and take a drive and I'm gonna record some night footage the day video there's a little bit of static in the audio uh, when everything was quiet I'm not really sure if maybe one of the connections is that plug pushed in all the way or what it is or maybe if there's just some background noise from the car interfering with the audio a little bit but it doesn't really interfere with being able to hear me or anything so not a big concern but yeah I'm pretty uh, pleased with this mirrored dash cam um, for the price point that you're getting it at I think it's a pretty good deal especially for cars that don't have any backup cameras installed or anything you can just switch cameras from front to back and then utilize it as a backup camera definitely get some good insurance nope this is what I'm talking about right here see this tree down all right guys so that's gonna be it for this video some final thoughts I think this is a great 
display on this. I think the camera on this dash cam is really clear and nice. The touch screen works well. Only issue I had was there's a little bit of static in the background um, of the video recordings. Now you can't hear that outside of this product, like you won't hear that inside the car. It's just in the video recordings, but uh, still not necessarily a deal, deal breaker for me because you could hear the audio still pretty good. Um, just a little static in the background. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this product. I may do a future video for a giveaway on this product. So if that's something you guys are interested in, um, put that in the comment section below. Do you want me to do a giveaway for this product in a future video? Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, smash that like button. If you guys like what I'm doing on my channel, go ahead and subscribe, share the video. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Until the next one, guys, I will talk to you later.